Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Dragon Age Inquisition. So, while I'm running upwards to try and get out of this uh, dwarven tomb we're in, which we've uh, just kind of stolen all the goodies they buried with the people down there, um, we've been ambushed by some Venatori. Venatori Mage and two Venatori Zealots. I kind of saw them on the minimap, but I actually assumed they were on the surface, so I kind of run through the door and have initiated combat without really intending to. So, you know, we're just going to murder them straight up. Um, we do need to get everyone kind of into this room, though. Because otherwise we're going to have problems. Have I leveled up? Oh, apparently I've leveled up at some point. Perfect. I probably should be paying attention to that. Okay, let's get everyone into the room so we can actually fight. I'm going to stealth. There we go. Poison blades. Right, Cassandra should be going for that guy. Uh, let's see. You've got poisoned weapons up already. Um... Probably don't have time for, definitely don't have time for a full draw. Let's just put an explosive shot on that guy. Maybe get lucky and lock him down. Hit that guy with some chain lightning. I'm actually going to go for the mage at the back is my plan. Or I could miss entirely. Wow, that was, um, that was genius. I was locked on and everything. Okay, everyone kind of exploded. That's good. So there we go, that's a good start to the episode. Murdering people straight off the bat and making them explode with electricity. I think that's all the loot. Right, let's try and get out up out of here. We should only be a couple of stairs away. Or ladders or yeah, ladders. But yeah, I thought they were up the top here when I saw them on the minimap. I wasn't expecting them to actually have come down here to try and fight me. But hey, good job, game developers. You actually got me there. Alright, up we go. Okay, this area is still clear. Yeah, no more bad guys have appeared here. So, I guess what I need to do first is actually level my character up. So, I'm now a level 19 rogue. I'm pretty badass, if I don't, if I don't mind saying so myself. What do we want to do? Hmm. What do I want to upgrade? I'm not too worried about caltrops. Poison cloud would be nice, maybe. Knockout powder could come in very handy, but I'm going to have to take away one of my abilities to give it to myself, and I like all my abilities at the moment. This is the problem, there's too many choices. We could upgrade some of our existing ones. Shadow strike now hits harder if you're on stealth or haven't taken damage recently. Stealth bonus damage 200%. Does that stack on top of the basic 400%? I would assume so. So that's 600% weapon damage. That's actually pretty good. I'm just going to take that, you know. That sounds pretty good to me. 600% weapon damage on the attack I use most frequently. Does kind of do the job for me. Right, now we have looked around that area. I want to head over this way a bit. There was like a little grove of trees down here. Which I don't think we checked out. There might be some goodies. Might not be. Might just be a couple of flowers, but still. Worthwhile checking out. And if all we get is some crafting components, then so be it. And it looks like that's going to be the case. Okay. I uh, can't see anything much over that way. Right. Let's check out the map. So, what do we got? We got some shards over in that direction. I wouldn't mind trying to get those. We could put a marker down and see about them. And we know the main enemy threat is up there. Let's move around that way then. If we can get the shards and then go deal with the Venatori, that would actually be quite nice. And if I just poke my head up over this way and just check there's nothing over here. You never know. Oh, that actually does continue on quite a way. Interesting, I thought the direction to go was that way, but it looks like there's actually something down there as well. Maybe... Maybe you have to go around this way to get there. I thought it was going to be a case of going up around this way. Okay, well in that case, let's definitely head this way and grab the shards. Is that elf root? Oh. I wouldn't have thought elf root would grow in desert conditions, but hey, what do I know? Oh, 
I'm going to fall off the side of this in a minute, aren't I? This, seem this is a stupid way for me to lose health, I'm sure. We do get some pretty damn good views from up here, though. That's not bad. Okay, there should be some shards around here, surely. One's up... Ah, one's there. Where's the other one? Down that way. Let's try and get the lower one first, I guess. Hmm. I can hear it. I just can't actually see it. If I fall off the side of this mountain, I will die, which will be embarrassing. Hmm. Okay, this is lower than I thought it was going to be, but oh well. We just have to run back up the mountain. We want to make sure we get all of our cardio. Is it getting brighter? Yeah, I feel like it's suddenly gotten a lot brighter. I mean, it wasn't terribly dark before, but it was definitely nighttime. It's still very nighttime ish. But it just feels like there's a bit more illumination right now. I don't actually know if the regions in the game are kind of locked to a certain time, or if there is actually a day night cycle. I didn't think there was a day night cycle. No, it's not. The moon hasn't moved at all, despite the fact we've been here for about six hours. So, yeah. It's just, this is permanently night here, which I can get behind. It does keep things nice and simple. I guess we're just getting closer to the moon. There's a lot of moonlight. It is a very big moon, so I shouldn't be too surprised at that. Okay, there's our shard. I wonder if I can keep going up this way. I have no idea if there's a good reason to come up this way or not, but I just want to try. Okay, so we are at the edge of the area for this encampment. There's something else there, hidden. So there's a path that heads down that way, and there's a path that heads up this way. I guess we're going to follow this path. I do not want to slide off the side of the mountain. Maybe being up this high wasn't a terribly good idea. But there is some volcanic urum I can get. What's that down there? It's very visibly, very visibly blue. I don't know what that is. Probably a campsite or something, I would imagine. I can't quite remember. I don't remember giant blue rocks. Okay, I guess we have to f start following the path, the path properly. The path properly. As well, my mouth tried to say that, but no. See, the more I run along this path, the more I want to turn back and find out what was go what's on the other path. Oh well. Just chasing fennec foxes through the desert now. It's a bit awkward. Okay, so there's another path that heads up that way. And we've got some bad guys over here. Well, I guess we go deal with these bad guys first. We've got a landmark here as well, which kind of makes sense. We're very near to another campsite. Uh, Vivian, I don't know why you're running up that way, Vivian. Would you please come back here, lady? Sometimes they do this. Sometimes they just seem to want their own personal space a lot and spread out. Which is, you know, understandable. You spend a lot of time with people, sometimes you do just want your, sp your own space. But it doesn't help if they go charging into the enemy camp. Right, what have we got? What am I facing down? Ven Venatory Gladiator, Mage, and another Gladiator. Okay, this should be a fairly easy party for us. Especially as both of those Gladiators have Electricity Vulnerability and we have Vivian with us. So, let's try and do our usual thing. Uh, which would be helpful actually having you where you can actually see the enemy. Thank you. Uh, let's get a full draw on one of those guys. Okay, I'm going to go with the one on the left. Cassandra, would you mind going on the one on the right? And, yeah. You can hurt him as well. And actually, Sarah, you can switch over to the mage and put some hurt on him. So we're spreading out our attacks, but I think it's going to work out okay. 
Oh, damn it. Why would you do that? Whoa, shit. Ah, you can't see me. Fuck you. I'm invisible again. God, this must be really infuriating for you. Oh, 1200 damage, thank you. Ooh, okay, the mage did put a lot of hurt on Sarah, which is unfortunate, and Cassandra appears to be on fire. Hmm, okay, Sarah took a lot more damage than I anticipated there. They'll never really like you, Vivi. Sarah dear, whatever has your scattered mind conjured now? The knobs in Orlais. They barely like their own kin, and you're a mage. Your failing, among many, is that you presume I desire approval. Power does not require that I be liked. Well, halfway there then. I don't think those two are ever going to become friends, no matter how much work I put into it. Right, let's claim this ancient dwarven monument as my own. Stone over sky. A faint inscription in ancient dwarven script is carved in the archway. Let this gate be the stone over your head. Home never forgotten. Anchoring soil and sky. Cool. Okay. And it looks like we could actually possibly go down that way into another area. Which I guess is the area we could see from here as well. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go down there at some point, just because I'm curious. But let's continue heading up the mountain, because I think that's where the Venatoria are going to be and where our encampment is going to be. Bear in mind, we do still have quite a lot of map to explore up this way. This The Hissing Waste is actually fairly huge. And, oh, I should probably give you a healing potion. There we go. Keep everyone topped up. We've got ten potions left. Someone should have the rejuvenating health potion as well, so we can do some AoE healing. Not very much, but it, you know, it can help. Ooh, oh, it's a fennec fox. I thought I saw something running across the top there. I did see something running across the top there, but it, yeah, not what I expected. Okay, some kind of mine shaft. Fair enough. And it looks like an astrarium over here. Okay, let's identify more shards then, shall we? One shard. And it's right there. Okay. Looks like some kind of encampment beyond that as well. Have we been over that way? Where's that? That's... Oh, over there. Okay. So that could be... No, that's not the campsite. That's too far. There's something up there. Okay, this is where we're trying to get to, though. Which I guess is back over this way. This isn't as straightforward as I thought it was going to be. This path is much more twisty. Oh, hello. You look like bad guys. And you look like bad guys who are... Squatting on my campsite, goddamn you. Okay, so it looks like the campsite and the Venatori are one and the same. Which means I'm going to kill them for two reasons. Um, once I can actually find out how to get down off this platform. This is quite a big mining operation they've got here. Interesting. I swear, venatory mages have the world's loudest muttering. I can hear them from all the way over here. I don't think they really understand how to mutter. Okay, this is actually a good place to start from, because Vivian's going to have a good line of sight. And Sarah, obviously. So what have we got? A zealot, a brute, and a spellbinder. That's pretty easy, to be honest. Uh, let's do our usual thing. Uh, who do we want to hit first? I guess we should try and damage the Brute. They're actually so clustered together, I'm tempted not to go over a full draw and hit them with an explosive shot, because that should hit all of them. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Which means we're not going to need much time to line things up, so... Let's give all everyone orders straight away. Okay. 
That kind of worked. That was good. Alright, coming in behind. Screw you. He's got some kind of mine up, which I don't like the look of. That guy had a lot of armor on. Now he has none. Ooh, that was a good hit as well. And he's down. Okay, was that the last of the Venatory? Is this the Watchtower? Maybe. Oh, I actually have to search it. Okay, I don't just have to murder everyone. I actually have to search for stuff. Fair enough. And I guess I should unstealth so my party can actually find me. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. When you end a fight and you're stealthed, you stay stealthed. And then because you're invisible, your party can't actually find you to do stuff. Aha! Here we go. Some suspicious books lying around. A sketch of Colossus Tomb. Okay. And Venatory Orders. Members of the Venatory, we are close to unearthing the secrets of the old dwarves buried here. The Elder One will doubtless be pleased with our success, but be vigilant. While our work has gone well, the Inquisition and their false herald were seen travelling towards the wastes. Travel together and go armed. Trevelyan may have no magic other than the anchor, but the damnable rogue has eluded death more times than can be natural. We cannot allow the Inquisition to take this place from us. If you are pressed, retreat to our main camp beyond the Sunstop Mountains. Extra guards will be posted. The Elder One will prevail. Signed, Overseer Jilex. Okay, so it sounds like they have another campsite. I'm going to guess... Oh, it's down there! Okay. So yeah, we were right, there is another area down there. We also have shards and campsites up that way to check out. But I guess we want to claim this campsite first, so... Let's establish a base camp of operations here. That's the last of them here. An excellent watchtower. With a strong pair of eyes, you could spot a mouse crossing the sand. The Inquisition could use this place, then. I'm sure it could. I like how we spent all the time setting up camp, but no one's actually washed the blood off me yet. Or Cassandra. Me and Cassandra are just covered in blood. And, yeah, Vivian's got some on her as well, which I'm surprised at. Right, we've got all of our potions back, everyone's healed up. Cassandra has no guard, but that's fine. Where do we want to go now? As I see, we've got two choices. We can go down this way and check out this area. Two rifts, another campsite, and some shards. Or we've got a rift behind us and the main Venatory encampment. I feel like being a bit of a completionist, so I think I want to head up this way, get all that done, and then circle back to this area and finish this off, because that will probably be us done here. Aside from maybe a bit of off-camera running around to get all the shards and that. So, let's make a move in this direction. Let's set up Sunstop Mountain Rifts as our objectives. There's one behind me, but we're going to focus on the two in this direction first. Ooh! Ooh, there's a secret around here. Where's the secret? Over that way. Oh, okay. Damn it. Should have gone over the platform, shouldn't I? Oh, it might be that thing on the table there. I wonder. Nope. Something else? Something over here? Oh, there we go. I see it. Another bottle of booze. A bottle of Phaedus, Flames of Our Lady. A wine with hues that range from blood to fire, always in that order. In the south, take a single draught, shout, She is with us, and throw the remainder into a fireplace. In the north, draw steel and march. Cool. That sounds like my kind of alcohol. Some nice prowler armor. Ooh, nice AoE damage blade, but unfortunately not that good. That, however, is pretty good. 252 DPS and an empty rune slot. Now, I think we do have pretty high damage on our weapons right now. Yeah, 350 and 232. Interesting. So our and bar cutter, we could switch that out for that new dagger. Let's see. So I've got that one equipped. Yeah, it was this one, the Darkspawn Sickle. Has a higher DPS. 
than the Anbaric Cutter, but doesn't do any AoE damage. I guess I'm not really focusing on AoE damage right now. Some good critical damage bonuses. A 2% cast Fear on a hit. 3% Sunder when hit. So it does more base damage, but it doesn't have the electricity, the AoE ele damage, the AoE electricity damage, or the straight up armor penetration. Hmm. I'm going to say I think I'm going to keep the Anbar Cutter right now. I think that works better for me with the bonuses on top. The raw damage is better for the Darkspawn Sickle, but I don't think it's what I need right now. Oh, I could have Lady Jocasta's Revenge, but again, that just doesn't do... It's got more raw damage, but I want I want the bonuses. Nice find, though. Uh, oh, it's a ladder behind me. Okay. Can I get down from here? Yes, I can. There's a ladder. Right. Down we go. Just going to keep hitting that occasionally to see if there's anything around. Um, no. Going to take six damage, because I can't be bothered going down all these ladders. So many steps and ladders, it's ridiculous. Ooh. Ooh, what can we see? Oh, okay, there's like a outcrop of rock we've got to run across. That's cool, that looks that looks cool. And we can see some monsters down there. Lurkers, I believe they're called. We did previously wonder if those things could go invisible, but I think it was just them popping in and out of sight. Hopefully they can't go invisible. Might be another tomb down there as well. Okay, well that's definitely the direction we're heading. We're going to head there next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to take a break here. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. And hopefully I'm going to see you all later for the next one. Bye.